Hey, what's up guys? Malt here, and we are here with something completely new, I think. Something that I've never really done before. This is Zelda, but it is not Zelda at the same time. This is actually a ROM hack made by a few pretty infamous, at least in the ROM hacking, ROM hacking universe people. Uh, especially the one that I personally recognize is Kaze Manuar, who I think if you've done any playing of any ROM hacking games, you'll probably have heard of. He's done stuff like Mario Chaos Edition, and I think there was like a Mario Lost Levels thing. He's been involved in a lot of projects of ROM hacking, and there's another one he's been involved in called Legend of Zelda The Missing Link, which has a really cool little title screen here, and you know, let's get it, Missing Link. Basically, the idea of this game is to br draw, like bridge the gap between the ending of Ocarina of Time and the beginning of Majora's Mask. It's not too long of a game, I don't think, from what I've seen. And I'm really curious about it. I've heard it's actually really well done. So I just wanted to do it for the... I just wanted to do it for YouTube. So let's do it. Let's try Let's Let's explore through this together. Okay, yeah, I have a safe file just called A because I wanted to see if the game ran. And it does, so we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna be standard about this. I want to actually very much enjoy this experience. I'm just going to be the Link that's missing. I'm just going to be Link. I don't want to make it any anything fancy. I'm going to be Link. I'm always Link whenever I have the option the first time I play a Zelda game. Okay. Okay, let's go. According to the legend passed down from the generation to generation of the royal family of Hyrule, there was once a boy who lived his peace life peacefully deep within the forest. This is auto advancing. Oh, is this gonna like do a recap? But one day the magical fairy Navi informed the boy of his destiny to save the kingdom of Hyrule from the great king of evil, Ganon. Music's pretty good so far. I think it's a lot of original assets in this game as far as I know. The boy embarked on his quest and conquered many foes, all while Navi guided him. He traveled through time and soon found himself face to face with Ganon. Whom he fought valiantly, Hyrule was saved. There's also legends of another boy named Fishing who did the same thing. Princess Zelda then sent the boy back in time to relive his childhood, which was definitely still a very interesting thing that happened. But this caused a huge timeline break, basically, in the whole Zelda series. It is said that upon completing his quest, the boy traveled on a secret and personal journey to find a friend. Yep, that's how I lead into Majora's Mask, which I never beat, by the way. What led him on that journey, and where did Navi go? And this is what this game is supposed to cover. So let's see how it does it. I'm very curious to see how this goes. Oh, this is the corner of Lost Woods, right? There's normally a shrub here. That's Majora's Mask, young Link. Kokiri Forest? This isn't Kokiri Forest, unless it's a different part of Kokiri Forest. Alright, so this is definitely... Yep, this is definitely Majora's Mask Link, the much higher polygon Link, who also does the cool flips and stuff, I think. But, um, this is cool. Is this actually Kokiri Forest? Or like a... Is this supposed to be like a different... Is this actually like a redone Kokiri Forest for some reason? Just to show that they can? Let's walk around and figure this out. Where did Navi go, Link? Did you lose her? Maybe Maida was right about you. Wait, what? <laughs> that's, that's a strong start. This seems like a remodeled... Uh, whoa, 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 relax. A stick! I got a stick! I do have a Kokiri sword, though. And an Ocarina of Time, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Alright, I got a stick. Alright, so everything here seems pretty standard. Oh, I guess there's no upgrades or anything like that, which is understandable. There's two songs, Saria's song and Opona's song. Cool. Okay, cool, alright. Yeah, this is much more... <laughs> it's very clearly a... Not gonna be a long adventure, but it's gonna probably be a fun one, right? Alright, so, uh, cool. I got a stick. That's pretty. That's a pretty good accomplishment so far. I'm so used to playing Ocarina of Time Randomizer that I've forgotten what it is to just play a Zelda game and just not have to worry about completing things or like what checks I'm missing. Saria asked me to come, uh, Saria asked me to cut down this tree, but it's impossible. The stem is way too thick. Maybe cutting down a thin wither tree would be easier. Is that a hint that I can cut down small trees with my sword? 
Can I even go back here, by the way, or does it stop me? Oh. Oh, it definitely stops me here. Alright. Cool. Cool. Good to know. Just wanted to check it out. Alright. Let's uh, explore a bit here. Want get anything out of this? Do I have to collect gold skull shells or anything? No. Got my first dollar, though. Oh, another thing that's really cool about this mod is it's apparently it apparently can le like legitimately run on N64 hardware. Like you could get a cart if you put this on a cart or something, you could actually run it on an, an actual N64. So it's like actually within the limitations of being of being an N64 game too, which is cool. Um, Link, you're already back. You should visit uh, Saria. I'm sure she she really misses you. Her magic door will only open when those who know her song. I know her song. I'm ready. Whose house is this? No one's? Oh. Um, oh, is this the magic door? I'm gonna wait on that for a bit. I'm gonna wait on that for now. And go to the other places first. So I'm still kind of confused if this is if this is actually supposed to be regular Kokiri Forest, so I just re redesigned. Oh, am I not allowed to talk to you up here? Do I gotta talk to you like this? You're back, Link. You should visit Saria. Saria's house is on the hill to the right. Hurry! Yeah, because okay, that is her house. Um, we'll go there soon. Let me just explore a bit. Welcome back to the forest, Link. Huh? Where did Navi go? Oh, where did Navi go? Oh, no. Oh! How do I get that? Hold on. What? Why didn't I jump? There's got to be a way to get this. Or not. I like... What? Hold on. I did it somehow for like a second. Did it! I backflipped upwards. Like a professional gamer. Alright, cool. Was that... That was probably the only way to get that, right? They expect me to be a pro Zelda player. How do I get that five dollars? I'll probably from the top. I can get that, right? Right. We'll just jump. Got it. As someone who never really f ever finished Majora's Mask or like played it much, because I was scared of it when I was a kid. I remember being super, super impressed when, uh, when I realized that it wasn't just the same exact assets. I mean, a lot of the assets were redone, but, like Link, for instance, he got, like, a nice little model update, with a lot of details, and he got some sound changes, and, and this. This is the part that I thought was cool. Look at that! He's so athletic! <laughs> Look at his crazy acrobatics! All right. Oh, is there anything here? Nope. All right, up these vines. Sorry, I just want to explore every nook and cranny of this mod. It's just, it's just so interesting to me. It's basically like a little, it's its own Zelda game that I've missed. The missing link in my life. I'm not sure what I feel about their redone Kokiri Forest, though. If this is a redone Kokiri Forest. Oh, is this like Kokiri Forest after it regrows from the new Deku Tree or something? Like a little transition there? Is that what the idea is? Because I know the Deku Tree died and the new one Sprout is here now to protect everybody. Did they have to like move to a different location? So they wouldn't be found again? I don't know what this is for. Could try using uh, Saria's song there, but... Before I do that... I should get that $5. Or well, maybe I should just uh, progress the game already. Na 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 You know what? I kind of want to hit this tree because there's a bunch of rocks around it. Hold on. Nope, just a dollar. Okay. Alright, let's just go... Okay, let's get the five dollars. And then I'm gonna go wake up Saria. God! Mm. No, not what I want to do.
All right. I wonder if there's any collectibles at all in this game that I need to worry about. Regardless, let's go play Saria's song. Saria, Saria. I don't know. I've been ever since hearing that other people say her name differently. I've been like shuffling around every single possible pronunciation for this name. I like Saria the most, but Saria does roll off the tongue a bit. What the hell? Dude. What? Did I stand the wrong spot? I have to check it first. Saria song. Okay. Oops. Maybe I, maybe the door was actually the one that I thought was a weird door. Maybe I'm supposed to play the song there. I already knew what the song was though, so maybe that was just for... I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm not sure what's going on anymore with anything. To be honest. Let's just go over here and figure this out. I'm gonna try playing the song here. Is it gonna give me a little jingle? Okay, that's what I wanted. Ooh, animations! Those animations! Alright. Finally, let's check this out. Actually, before we check this out, was I able to go up here? This normally like leads to like a bridge, but I guess there wouldn't be. Oh, it's five dollars up here. Nice. Okay. A, a cutscene. Link, listen carefully. This force is in grave danger. Without divine protect, the divine protection of the Great Deku Tree, the Kukiri Force slowly begun to wither. Has slowly begun to wither away. Worse yet, a fairy collecting demon has captured- has started capturing all of the fairies in the land of Hyrule and will soon arrive here as well. In front of you is a chest containing a farewell gift from one of your friends. Please use that gift to save this forest and bring back its fairies. And the music's back to- okay. You got the Soul Charge Kokiri Sword. What now? Charge up a spin attack and attack with full health to fire a blade beam. Oh, a voice emanating from within the chest wanted you to take it. No matter, Saria probably wouldn't won't mind you bar to if you borrowed for a while. Where is she anyway? Whose voice was that? I thought that was gonna be. Cool. They added the blade beam back to freaking 3D Zelda. Neat. It said when I had full HP or charge, right? Okay, cool. Cool! That's probably gonna be useful for something. Not sure what yet, but... Oh. The storm is coming. Is everyone gonna have different content to say now? Wait, where did everyone go? Um, do they all go indoors because it's raining? Oh, nope. The demon took my fairy! Did it take Navi too? I hope the fairies are fine. Please save them, Link. Oh yeah! They were actually all... They all had fairies before. That's why I just thought they were out of draw distance, but... No, they're just... They're kid, their fairies got kidnapped while I was in that house. A demon stole all of our fairies! Oh. Oops. A, steam, a demon stole all of our fairies, so you didn't lose Navi after all. I'm so sorry I doubted you, Link. You better be! You're the first person I talked to in this town. I got some weird-ass vibes. A demon took all the fairies. I was so busy cutting this tree, I didn't even notice. Dude, how are you cutting this tree with just your fists? Why don't you use a tool or something? They all lost their fairy at the same time. All of our fairies got kidnapped. We could carry the lost without them. You guys are all gonna be in the lost woods. Cut. The I kind of wish the blade beam would uh, be in the same direction as the sword slash you do, but understandable that that would probably be kind of annoying to do on this hardware. All right, let's just uh, go where we're supposed to go, which I assume is down there because there's nowhere else to really go. Right. All right, yep, so let's go over here. Potentially some enemies and stuff down here, I would assume. Oh, Mido. 
I hate to admit it, Link, but I can't leave the forest. We Kikirius can't survive outside the forest. If you can cut down this tree, then you better, then you better get to chasing that demon, uh, being the hero you say they say you are. But uh, but just because I also lost my fairy doesn't mean you're off the hook, Mister No Fairy. And though I admit, <coughs> I was too harsh with you. That does that counts as my apology, okay? All right, so I needed the blade beam to hit this tree. I should be dead after that. What the hell was that? Alright. So I would have just come here and talked to Mido, but I didn't do that. So I missed some dialogue. Deep Woods. Don't forget about Link's spin attack. Hold B for a bit before releasing the spin attack and fire a blade beam even without full health. Can I still just shield these? Got him! Oh, blade beams don't break pots? I think that's pretty consistent with the 2D games from the little little I know about the 2D Zelda games. This music is really creepy. I'm really liking this design, though. Keys, can I shoot upwards with the blade beam? Oh, shit, what the hell was that? That scared the hell out of me. Anju? Well, I always like Anju being around, even though I'm not really sure why he's here. She's here. Also, those are the Deku scrubs from the Deku Palace in Majora's Mask. Dude, how do I get these bats? Are they not gonna attack me? Alright, I'm just gonna ignore it, I guess. What do I do? Cluck Cluck Ranch is up ahead, but the Deku guys won't let me visit. You, you little boy, could you get try getting through? I need my Cuckoo's birth certificate. What? Hey you, don't even think about getting past me. We Deku, we guard this place to Deku Grove and nobody has ever gotten past me. Not even that really scary fairy collector guy. Yeah, he didn't go right past this gate. And you aren't either. My partner over here likes to act really tough, but I wouldn't take him too seriously if I were you. Watch out for that fairy collector though. I like how there's like Lost Woods music and stuff like blended into this song that's playing right now. Very impressive. Now, can I get this guy in the air? He can't even get me up there. He's just doing some shit. Oh, bat! So they can't attack me. So I gotta climb up to that thing to fight this guy. Which could potentially, um... Help me get this switch? Or no, I can just hit it, apparently. Blade beams melt ice. Interesting! So what's the point of that guy? He's just there to hang out? Or is there a secret in this somewhere? Here's my- okay, here's what I'm curious about. Can I reach this? I didn't even freaking jump. Oh, I can! And he's down there now. Got his ass? Did that accomplish anything for me, killing him? Maybe I gotta kill the bats too? Is there a secret down here? Oh, there is a secret down here. A heart. Damn it. That's not very good. I feel like after playing Randomizer, heart pieces and stuff aren't a good, aren't very uh, exciting anymore in like a Zelda game. Compared to finding like useful items and stuff. Where was the bat that attacked me? All I see are just leaves. Alright, I guess. Oh wait, the bat's right there. Can you attack me again so I can beat your ass? I'm wasting a lot of time, but I just, I just want to see if there's anything in here. Because that was like a completely optional Deku scrub I just killed. Oh, here he comes. Alright, whatever, I'm leaving. Doesn't seem to be anything here. This looks bad. A hole? Some bats? 
I'm just gonna go in the hole. I'm not used to my uh, lock on just like being toggle. I usually play with hold. I mean, that's gonna really mess me up at some point. Ooh, Deku's. Deku boys. So my blade beams are fiery. Nuts! I should probably uh, equip that. Okay. Nuts. Anything secret in here or is it just death? Looks like death. Looks like death. Let's not worry about that. Are you about to bot me, dude? Are you a friend? You're not shooting at me. Hey you, you want to get through here? Tough luck. You're not going anywhere while I'm watching you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, you already said that. Oh, I understand. Okay. green blood when I do that. If I block all these, you can't escape anymore, so I'll kill you instead! <laughs> Wait, where'd you go? Did you get flattened? Uh-oh. Did I actually just kill him in the most gruesome way possible? Possibly. More of these guys. Uh, Michael keeps Michael keeps begging me to go go to Monktown Valley to buy him bomb shoes, but eh. Hey, I got it. Why don't you just go there for me so he will finally shut up? You only need to know the super secret Deku code, though. I always remember it was it like 23 is number one. Huh? You don't get it? Well, you can't expect me to explain everything. Hey, you there. This is my brother Miko, and my name's Michael. We are the Deku brothers. Anyway, enough introduction. I need your help. Please show me a bomb chew. Trust me, they're the coolest thing ever. If you can find a way to blow that up that wall over there with a the bomb chew, he'll find a way to get you past the Deku guards. Mark my words. Okay. Oop. Damn it. You found a small key. Alright. So, what you wanted me to do is, uh... What do you want me to bomb? Is it just that? What the hell is this? Alright, whatever. Let's just, uh, I don't know what he told me he wanted me to bomb, but I'm just gonna go in this direction. In style! Oh, key. Oh my god, he scared me. You scared me, buddy! There's so many glowy lights. I guess I'll go to this one. Did I just come back to the beginning? Monktown Maze. Monk Mountain Valley is ahead. Ask the Electric Brothers for instructions. Oh, I, I, I think I did come back. Oh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. 23 is 1. So two, three, and then one. Right? Okay. Monktown Valley. Scary. Scary little place here. Link. Link! Whoa, what the fuck? That's that's not what I expected. 
I'm very weak at- Oh, it's auto- Frick, it's auto -advancing. I'm very weak at the moment. Please excuse my brevity. Wish I could explain more to you. But this is important. I sense a curse in this valley. Yes, I am sure of it. So Saria's soul is in the- These re-deads. I can still sense a human soul resting deep within them. Please, Link, take caution. Wait, but they're not supposed to be based off real humans. My immersion! Dude, is this a super giant nose ring? Hold on. Is this cow wearing... Or do they always have a big ass nose ring like this? Um. Oh. Forgot there's no there's no D-pad shortcut in these games. Wait, these guys need a Pona song. Which was, uh... What again? Um. Nope. I don't remember what it was. I should probably just look at it. Probably should just look at it. Up, left, down. Moo, what a nice song. And I see the pasture. That song makes me feel so good. I could produce a lot of milk. Oh, that's too bad. If you had something to put in it, I could give you some too. Oh, I don't have a bottle. Good to know. Where are these re-deads? Am I just killing re-deads right now? I guess I can sword beam, which makes it a bit easier as a child. I see a bomb flower trail. I don't know what I'll need this money for, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, let's go in here first. What's this? Pothouse! 20. Wait, that's a lot of money they're just giving me all of a sudden. Can't go wrong with the pothouse! Right? Upstairs, too. Especially a pot house that gives this much money. Alright, um, what's in here? Another dollar? Some sort of puzzle? Is this for a heart piece? Am I trying to fall into there? I think so. As to why I'm trying to do that, let's guess we'll find out. Where am I now? Was that just a shortcut down? What the hell are you doing here? One dollar. Oh, I'm already maxed out on money. Where am I going right now? I don't know. I'm kind of- maybe I should just gone and kill the re-deads. I'm still in Monk Town, right? I think I am. You son of a bitch game. You gonna do me like that? Alright, hold on. Nailed it. Alright. What's in here? Monktown Sanctuary. Can I read this? Can I... 
do anything here? Oh! I need fire. Which I which and which I have none? This candle's not even lit, is it? Did not mean to do that. Oh, I need a sword beam. Hold on. Wait, what? There we go. And with that, I can light the thing. Hold on, I want to light this thing. No? Okay. Oh, my frickin'. Oh, God damn it. I wasted too much time. Dude! I just broke my last stick. There's nowhere to get a stick here. Right? Can I just cut this, this shit down? Oh my. I just screwed myself over really hard. I don't remember seeing any uh, plants in this area. Am I screwed? I can't go back. There's no way, right? They wouldn't just do this to me? This is a pretty easy thing to realize what happened. No? Stick? Okay. Stick. Stick was in. Sticks are in here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let me be very careful. Cool. Other question. Does this work? Why is there a candle here? This is really pissing me off. Dude, stop. Man, whatever. Is this a prison? The hell am I? It's like Triforce writings on paper. What's this? I probably shouldn't have broken that. I think I needed that. It's probably gonna be a switch or something that needs that. Okay, open that. What does that do for me? Oh, what the hell? Gerudo. Wait, before I talk to you guys... What the hell is going on in here? Why do I keep hearing zombies? Oh, they're in prison. There was some shit happening in here, that's for sure. Alright, what's up? When we arrived here, we dead suddenly appeared. That, that gate over there is the only thing keeping us safe. We will just hang in here, I suppose. Did I open that gate? Or did I open another gate? This is our treasure now. Go bother someone else. Oh, am I trying to get these guys to just run away so I can get this treasure? This is our treasure now. Go bother someone else. Did they update Gerudo models in Majora's Mask or something? I don't remember them looking this pretty. But you know what? I could be wrong. I don't have a bottle yet for this blue fire, so I gotta go find a bottle first. Alright, well... This is probably back to the main sanctuary, right? No, this is the side of Monktown Valley's... Wait, what's over here? I'm missing bombs too, which makes a lot of these rocks in inaccessible. Which are probably gonna be helpful at some point. There's a chest up there. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh wait, I can uh, chain bomb to this using fire. Right? Hey, what the hell is this? Back entrance? Zombie entrance. Yeah. 
Oh, they added two sword beams. God damn. Well, I don't know what zombie entrance really accomplished for me, but hey, wait. Oh, no, they're still there. Okay, cool. Wait, is there anything in here? That I just haven't noticed? Nope. Just dead zombies. Okay. Let's head back down that bridge and see where this leads so I can get... Maybe orient myself a bit. Is there a map screen, actually? Oh, there is, but not like a you know, dungeon map. It's still, I'm still technically in the overworld. Oh, there's a... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so this is the main area again. There's the freaking uh, place to put bugs in. I don't have a bottle still. Zombies all over. Where did I come in from? I'm trying to figure this out. I think I came in from there, right? And then I went through this whole little gauntlet. All right, I'm going to kill these guys. That one's walking at me slowly. I see a map on that wall. Did I kill all these souls? Am I doing a bad thing? It looks like you're at the white cross in the map. What could be the red what could the red markings indicate? I don't know. People to kill? Entrances? Who just said that? Was that you? Uh oh. No? No. Come on! No? Did these guys not grab? Did they get the grab ability removed from them? Is there- I don't think there's any point in me killing all these guys. They're just gonna respawn, aren't they? Alright, let's go into this house. I should probably... Yeah, let's just go in the house. This house. Yeah, yeah okay. Alright, yep. Mm-hmm. I need that. Sword beams are bad. Cool. Bats. Damn it! There goes my sword beams. They're back. Hello? Do you want to fight me again? Come here. Come here. He got the last laugh. Oh, that still works. I forgot about that. A lot of bats still in here. I should clean this place up and see what happens. It sounds so close, but I think they're upstairs. Oh, God. They still become fire keys with a blade beam. Chest! Cleaning up the house chest! Good chest? Bottle? Bottle, right? Heart piece. Damn it. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Secret dusty house has been got. This is a wind waker. Can't break all the shells by rolling. Yeah, these guys are back. All right. Um, we got a pretty good idea so far. So why don't we end this first episode here? I am planning to play through this whole thing, which shouldn't be a few more than a few hours long. I'm gonna go explore the other side now. Once I've uh, once we start the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. What do you guys think so far about this missing link? It's very clearly a, a like a ROM hack mod, but. I think it's really cool so far, and I'm enjoying it, and I'm, I'm ready to see where it goes. The ghost area is very interesting to me. But I guess, um, but she's not supposed to be dead yet in this timeline. 
I don't really know why she's a ghost. I guess we'll figure that out. But uh, I'm good to see how good to have her as my companion. I guess technically in this game, I kind of wish she would pop out for like uh, info and stuff when I when I hover people. But you know, can't ask for everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please leave a like down below. It helps me a lot. Subscribe if you haven't. Join the Discord. Check out all the links in the description below. I Twitch stream as well, by the way. And as always, I hope you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!